Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Okay, this is like the 14th time I've filmed over the past several days. I have been documenting the horrible nightmare that we had with our AC going out. Yes, I'm going to just come right out and admit it. I am a first world decadent American diva and damn it all, I want my AC. So just in case you missed it, the air conditioning in my house broke. The long story short, is that there's like three blades on the fan on the outside unit, which is what draws the air, cools it, sends it back in. One of the blades was sheared off clean and slammed into the side of the unit inside. And the other two fans couldn't generate enough power to move the air the way that it was supposed to move and or it would get stuck on that third blade, which was slammed into the coils. Every time I looked, it was moving. It was vibrating a lot more than I had noticed before, but I didn't think anything of it, and I'm not an HVAC expert. So we suffered all weekend long. It got up to 92 degrees in the house, like upstairs. It was nearly unendurable. So much so that I went out and I bought a window AC unit on Sunday, and we had that running full blast. We had fans downstairs trying to blow it out and all that kind of stuff, and it was just miserable. We ended up blowing up a blow-up bed, and we slept downstairs Sunday night underneath the AC with another fan blowing directly on us. It was just awful. So the AC got fixed late yesterday, like around five o'clock. It took until 10 o'clock before it was actually livable. Downstairs was getting really nice and, and mm, yeah, all right, yeah. But upstairs was still like, yeah, okay. So I took another cold ass shower before I went to bed and by midnight, it had cooled down enough in here. Now, to give you an idea of how awful it was, again, 92 degrees inside when it was 85 outside overnight when the temperatures went down. So it was still hotter inside the house than it was outside. And those vent fans that I installed that are supposed to only turn on, I have them programmed to turn on at 70. So when the air inside the vent gets down to 70, they will start blowing. So it moves more cold air into my office slash studio where I'm sitting right now. This one up above me was getting a temperature of 106 and over there it was 96. So that's how hot the air was up in those vents. That's what was blowing in because I had the AC shut off yesterday but he told me to turn it off, but to keep the fan going. So it was circulating the air, but he did say it's going to get hot in there. And that's what he told me to do on Sunday. But the bottom line is it was just absolutely miserable. And I'm finally starting to feel better, although I'm unbelievably dehydrated because I was just sweating my ass off. So I've just been pounding fluids all day. All right. The other good thing that happened yesterday was that I got my... 16 inch MacBook Pro M1. Part of the problem that I found with that MacBook Air, one is that it doesn't have an active cooling system. And I started to notice it was like it was throttling. It was, I was like, why the hell is it taking so long for this freaking video to render? Like it's not that different. What was different was that it was getting hotter in here and hotter and hotter. So that thing was getting hotter and hotter. So it starts shutting shit off to keep it from overheating and my renders and everything that I had to do was suffering. And I thought to myself, well, that's gonna suck because it's gonna be hot. What can I do about that? Bottom line there, screw it. I bought this MacBook Pro. It came in yesterday. I had to take it to the Starbucks where I was doing my company calls, my usual Monday calls, because I wasn't gonna do those here. And I unboxed it and started setting it up. Problem with what I was doing was that the Starbucks internet sucks and it was so slow that it wouldn't even download Chrome. Like I started downloading Chrome, it never finished in the two and a half hours I was sitting there. Once I was done with my calls and I was able to break things down, I came back home, I set up a makeshift office downstairs in front of that AC, and I started downloading and installing all the programs on this thing that I use, you know, like Motion, which I don't use, but I should, Final Cut Pro, Office, you know, Word, Excel, all that shit, all the stuff for, for my filming and everything that I do and Photoshop and everything. And, you know, with my internet here, which is blazingly fast, boom, they were all down. So I got the thing all set up. There's still some little tweaks I got to do, like all of my presets that I bought that are all installed on the iMac all of the, uh, the like the, the transition pack. And I got this like stupid ass expensive transition pack and, and it has all these things that you can do in Final Cut. Those 
I don't even think I got those on the other MacBook. <laughs> so I got to do all that stuff. But, you know, I mean, I just got it. I just had it for a day. So it's going to take a while for me to figure it out. Now, as far as my studio goes, you can see what I've done. I did not like the way that it looked with the shelf and the sheer white curtains and the lights and all that shit and the LED head. So I got rid of it. The bookshelf is now in with the other two bookshelves in the library where they belong. I took the curtains down. I'm not going to use those. But I went and bought a black flat sheet and I decided not to iron it because I kind of like the way it looks like bricks. My personal opinion. So I got that back there. I'm using my Aperture MC lights that are just below me. Here, let me zoom out so you can see everything. There we go. So now you can see those two little Aperture MC lights. If I move out of the way, you can see the top of the head that's now basically at like my lower back and ass level. And you can see here where that's how close I am to the window. I have this 16 to 35, it's out at 16 right now. Then what I did was I zoomed it all the way in with the clear image zoom. And I think that looks just perfect. It stops like right here, right above you've seen the lights, but you can still see like, if I put my hands back here, you can see how they turn pink. My ears turn pink from the head and the blue lights. I think it looks fine. I actually kind of dig it. And I know it was said that like people were like, ah, oh, the focus there is that LED head and you're not, there's not enough of you in the frame and all that kind of stuff. So if I put my camera here, and again, if I, if I sit in the chair, like right in where I should sit in the chair instead of sitting forward, and I put my arm out, my hand right now is half, about halfway between the end of the lens and my melon. So if I slide forward on the chair and sit at the front of the, of the seat and I have my elbows on the edge of the desk, here I am. And, and now the color is correct. And that's why I redid it before earlier because the way that I had this set up, it was metering and getting the lights and I had this like weird sickly bluish green skin and I didn't like it. So now I think it looks pretty normal and I keep looking at the Ninja, which is what I, you know, like I wish I could get it right in the middle or right on the lens, but I can't. So you have to deal with me looking down there and I'm not gonna case the eye stat it and put sunglasses on. So that's that. Right now, it is torrentially downpouring. There currently isn't any thunder and lightning, although there was earlier and I need to go pick up a package but I'm not going out in that. So I decided that this was bugging me enough when I looked at the footage that I would reshoot. That has been my weekend. It's also why you didn't get a video yesterday because it was 92 degrees in here and there was no freaking way I was going to sit here and do anything in this office. Plus I wanted to get all this shit set up. Plus I was physically and mentally exhausted after a weekend of getting cooked in my own place. I did not go out this week because of all this shit happening. Like even right now, oh shit, that's right, I'm doing laundry. I gotta go check the laundry uh, because I didn't get to do that on Sunday because I wasn't gonna do anything that made me have to move or that would create any heat. So no cooking, no laundry, none of that shit. They were just laying there moaning about how hot it was or hopping in the shower and taking a nice cold shower so it would give me another hour or so of feeling like I could move. Right now, I love the way this is set up. It is like I have enough room that I'm not, I don't have an obstacle course in my office anymore thanks to this rolling setup here and that I got rid of the shelf and I'm able to move further back into the corner. I love this desk. This desk was only 60 bucks and it is much bigger than the one that I was using before for overhead shit. And I put my overhead setup back on. I got my lights all set up exactly the way I want. I got a brand new kick-ass computer. I got all the cameras I could shake a stick at. I need to sell the, uh, the A7R 3 still. I got a lot of shit going on. I went over a bunch of other shit, but I'm not gonna do that now. I just wanted to sort of give you an overview and catch you up on what happened this weekend with the AC issue and why you didn't get a video yesterday, but we're back to our regularly scheduled programming. So for now, I'm gonna wait until it stops raining sideways. I'll go pick up my package and, uh, and then I'm gonna chill. And in between, I'm gonna drink as much fluid as I possibly can. That's all I've got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, I'll leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up, but with the AC on full blast.